up and welcome into high school game time, your only home in Northeast Wisconsin for 30 minutes of Friday night football action. Well, trips to state are up for grabs this weekend. Six teams from our area trying to make their reservations in Madison. Two of those games coming tonight. We've got you covered here across the state. We'll start it in Kimberly with our high school game time game of the week, and it was a good one. Bill Turnquist, two-time defending state champ, 39 straight wins for West Pier, facing Wapaka and Bo Ash. Look at this, 90-yard touchdown run for Ash. He had a huge run earlier in the game. He is gone. And Wapaka, look out, they're on top 7-0. West Sapir answers right back. Connor Konchak, he rifles it. And I'm sorry, Matt DeBaker to Connor Konchak, 87 yards. We're tied up at seven apiece. West Sapir would take back the lead with Zach Rothman, part of that two-headed monster at running back. Oh, eight-yard touchdown run. And the Phantoms are on top. They got a lot of good running backs there. West Sapir, they're still ahead. Comments, they go for it on fourth down. Sam Menzies, Nate Nelson, extra point blocked, 14-13 at the half. Then, second half, down one. That's Bo Ash for Wapaka. Go ahead, field goal. So they got the lead, and that was your last play of the game. West Pier, Matt DeBaker picked off, and that is it. That is your final 16-14. Wapaka snaps the 39-game win streak of West Pier. Prep expert Doug Ritchie caught up with a very happy winning coach. Here with Wapaka coach John Kronkowitz, his team stunned the state, but probably not his team, with the huge 16-14 uh, win over West Pier. John, what does this win mean to you guys? Uh, this means uh, a great deal for everybody, you know. Uh, it's great for the players, it's great for the fans, it's great for the school, it's great for the community, you know, coaching staff. You can't ask for anything more than an opportunity to make a trip to Madison. That's everybody's dream at the beginning of the year, and uh, we accomplished that this evening. Bo Ash, everyone knows him as a great running back, a great linebacker. Is he a great field goal kicker now? First kick of his career, well, it goes through the uprights to, to go to state. Well, he's, he's <laughs> kicking a 1,000, and that's all you could ask of the guy, you know? Uh, I just had a feeling, you know? I mean, he's the kind of guy that's been around a long time. He was here in 2009 as a freshman when we had lost his very game to West of Pier, and they went on their first trip to Madison. Uh, sometimes you leave it up to your players, and in uh, big games, big plays make a difference. Big players make big plays, and that's what happened on numerous occasions out there this evening. So talk, talk about the game overall. I mean, it was just a grind. Nobody could get a drive going. And what went through your head there late in the fourth when you had to get that field goal? And did you tell anything to the kids? Uh, no. You know, I think we just play every minute or every second uh, uh, and just play. And, and I think that relieves some of the pressure from this particular ball club. You know, I, with four minutes to go when, when Wesley Beer had the, uh, had the ball and they were driving, you know, I, I said to our defense, you know, we got to get a stop here. If we get a stop here, we're going down and scoring here, and there's not going to be a whole lot of time left. And sure enough, you know, they made the stop. We got the ball back. We made some plays. Uh, uh, on offense, got it down into a field goal range, and, and uh, you know, that's kind of what we wanted to do. We wanted to take time off the clock and uh, kick, the, uh, kick the field goal and hopefully win the ball game. And Wapaka did, 16-14 over West Pier. That winning streak at Wapaka, it's 12 games. That's the one we're going to talk about now. Yeah, that's the big one right now. Back to the studio. Thanks, Doug. Well, Packa on to state. Well, how about Freedom? They're an eight seed in the playoffs. Really one of the stories of the postseason for me. And we're finding out this playoff run, Cinderella has been Irish all along. So far, Freedom, they're an eight, remember. They've had to beat a one, a four, and a two seed on their run. Tonight, they face another top-seeded opponent if they want to keep their improbable run to Madison going. That's in Division Four, and Freedom. Oh, Bigfoot. That's a scary opponent. We got some footage of him tonight. It wasn't blurry or anything. Freedom, they're big, they're scary. Look at this big guy. Colin Frederick scooping and scoring for the fumble. Freedom is down 7 0. Irish would respond, though. Nathan Peters going around the right side, breaking one tackle, two tackles, an arm tackle. Got taken down Nathan Peters. He is gone. 75 yard score, two point conversion, good. 8 7 Freedom on top. Then watch this kickoff. Kind of a ground ball here. And the ball's loose. It's out there. Anybody can get it. Freedom would recover. Led to another touchdown. Made it 16-7. But Bigfoot, their running back, as Clint Crewalt looks on, their running back, his name is Mason Dixon. And he is much more than a line, if you will. He's more of a bulldozer. Three first-half rushing touchdowns. 
They built a 31 to 16 lead at the half. Now, after the break, Nathan Peters, we, we saw him from the first half taking the little pitch, gets in for another score. Freedom, it would not be enough. The great run comes to an end. Freedom falls in this one, 45 to 22. Great postseason run. Our Jude Wilbers caught up with Irish head coach Clint Crewall. What can you say about a team and a performance like your guys had this year and this tonight? Yes, I told them in there. I said they, they have nothing to be ashamed of. What they did and what they did for the school, what they did for this program, my hats off to them. I owe them guys. I owe those guys for the rest of my life. They made this job easy for me this year for our whole coaching staff. We love everyone. Those kids will do anything for them. They, they put us back on the map. They put freedom back on the map. It proves that everybody from first grade on up, kindergarten up, and freedom, that we are someone for the future. We both start working to be part of this. So Freedom, certainly lots to be proud of after their loss on Friday night. Let's go now live. we got reporters across the state. We'll go to Jude Wilbers at West Bend. Jude, we just saw you talking to Coach Crewalt a moment ago. Was this team after the game able to be proud of their accomplishment? Were they holding their heads high? Yeah, I think definitely this is a team that had to be proud of the effort they gave out there tonight. And throughout the season, you know, I was talking with one of their assistant coaches during the game. I don't know if I saw a more hard-hitting team this season. It was a team that was, you know, a never-say-die, hard-running team. You know, and as Coach Crewalt said, this was a Bigfoot team. They hadn't played their starters in the fourth quarter the entire season. Those starters were all the way to the end of the game tonight. So push Bigfoot to the limit, you know, on another night. Maybe they were talking about a different story for the Freedom Irish. Yeah, Freedom, certainly lots to be proud of, Jude. We also have Doug Ritchie, as you can see, live at Kimberly High School. Wapaka Doug getting the upset over West Sapir. Prep expert Doug Ritchie, uh, just give me your thoughts. What an incredible game. Well, you, you know, the game started. Uh, Bo Ash went 92 yards for a touchdown to put Wapaka up 7 nothing. I was thinking right there that's going to be the biggest play Bo Ash makes all day. Well, it took a while, but he made probably the biggest play of his life, kicking that 22-yard field goal to win it all. Boash had never kicked a field goal before in high school. He said he just started practicing kicking field goals this week. Great linebacker, great running back. Now he's a great kicker. And the other kicker to this, his girlfriend goes to West Pier. I mean, what a, what a night for Boash and Wapaka, ending a 39-game winning streak. They're going to state. They're 12-0. and I'm already predicting a Wapaka state title. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> wait, wait a second, Doug. Is that, real quick, Boash first high school field goal? I had no idea. Yeah, he, he's kicked off this season, but he just, he told me he just started kicking field goals in practice recently. He said he kicked about six. And then Wapaka calls timeout. John Kronkowitz, the coach, says, Bo, you're going to go out and kick this for us. You're going to win us. You're going to win this game and send us a state. The guy does it. I mean, what else can this guy do? I think I, think I actually saw him drive the bus back now. So he, he pretty much is doing everything tonight. Unbelievable. Doug Rich.